good morning it is finally feeling a little nippy out here <laughs> it's about 66 60 something i'm so excited now i'm a summer girl so it's very crazy for me to say this i'm actually ready for fall i'm ready for sweaters and jeans and boots and little jackets and you know cocoa and then thanksgiving and christmas i'm so excited <laughs> Um, but I just wanted to hop on here this morning. Um, I was debating whether to go live. I know, like, so I want to say what I'm going to say. And then um, I popped on and I saw a, a anniversary message for me from four years ago, five years ago, that said, believe God for better. And so that's what I'm talking about this morning is believing God for better. Um, in this life, we're often encouraged to do what's safe. We're often encouraged... Um, to do the typical nine to five uh, white picket fence to 2.3 kids, right? I just want to encourage you this morning that um, God has more for you. And it may be those things, but I just want you to, um, you know, just seek God and seek his heart about the plans for your life. Hey, Miss Connie, because they could be something different or more, you know, or less. And it just it depends on what he wants for you. You know, so I just want to encourage you today that um, your path to success may look different from everyone else's. Uh, hey, Amy, but don't be discouraged because you never know. A lot of times we put ourselves on this um, litmus test of success. Hey, Evelyn, and we think if we've achieved something by such a time of our lives, then we were successful. And if we haven't, then we didn't. And then we compare ourselves. Well, this person went to the same high school as me, the same college, and they're doing this and I'm doing this. And it's so tough when we compare ourselves. Good morning. When we compare ourselves, we always, or there's always gonna be someone who's doing better. There's always gonna be someone who has reached their goals. But you know, hey, Sonia, I just wanna um, you know, encourage you this morning that um, you have your own goals, your own benchmarks. And sometimes God calls us to do different things. If he wanted the same person uh, billions of times over, he could have done that, but he didn't. So I just want to encourage you today that your path may look different. And, um, you know, I could even say in my own life, you know, my, um, my upbringing was like, I was really focused on my education because I thought education was my ticket out. Like, I just thought, okay, if I get a good, if I get good grades, I get a degree, I can go anywhere and do anything. And to some point, that's true. But at the same time, I wasn't built for the corporate world, to be honest. I was built more to be an entrepreneur. So I tried to make myself fit in those molds. I went and got the degrees that support it. And I remember sitting at my desk thinking, wait, I have to do this for 40 years? Like, I have to sit at this desk for 40 years? every day Monday through Friday nine to five maybe extra and then you know that tussle I don't know about y'all but in a mom's heart um, if you have a support team and family that's great but for me you know I had my family in Chicago but it was very hard to leave my children every day it was very hard to miss those moments hey Kevin uh, it was it was very hard to miss those moments and I kept thinking I can do this for myself what can I do for myself? How can I get
my I thought, good morning. But I'm not. And you're not either. No matter how many times you fail or things don't happen the way you want them to. Hey, Tommy, you haven't failed. So I just want to encourage you today that your path may not look like everyone else's, even in this health game. You may have gotten some news from the doctor that scared your life, your pants off or whatever. <laughs> I don't know if that should say that. That just scared you. But that doesn't mean that's the end of your story. It doesn't mean that you're going to end up in a certain situation. You just take charge of your health. If you um, have a few pounds to lose, okay, that doesn't mean you failed. Your body can change. Your body just reacts to what you do. You know, if you're in debt, just get out of debt. Like, just make small payments. Don't ignore the calls. Just start to live up to it and do what you can. Don't take the stress on. It's very easy to take stress on um, when your finances aren't right. But I just want to encourage you today. Your path may not look like everyone else's. But it's your path and you have to own it. And then let God lead you to where you're supposed to be and what you're supposed to be doing because it'll be so fulfilling and it will be exactly what you need. It won't be like anyone else's. You know, I don't care how young you are or how old you are. It's never too late or too early to ask the Lord, what is the plan for my life? Because I honestly believe like this cliche. Hey, Miss Gloria, uh, it's cliche, but I honestly believe that if you're still living, there's a reason for you to be here. You're not just living to just check in and check out and just check the boxes, live paycheck to paycheck. There's more. There's so much more. Hey, Miss Nicole. So I just want to encourage you that even though your story may not look the way you want it to or look like everyone else's, hey, girl, that it is your story and it's valuable and it's powerful and it will reach people that God has intended for you to reach. And that's the whole point is to glorify God and to bring more of his children into this kingdom. So I just encourage you to live your story. See God. If you don't know the Lord Jesus, I always say, ask God about Jesus, because a lot of us believe in God. But we don't believe in Jesus. I say, ask God about Jesus because he will reveal him to you. He's so controversial. A lot of people are like, I don't know about that. Just ask about it because he is the way, the truth, and the life. And no one comes to the Father, God, but through him. So anyway, I hope this encouraged you this morning. Just start looking at different ways of doing things. Look at different ways of enhancing your, your career or your finances. What's a small business you always want to start? What's a, um, a course you always want to take? Or even a hobby that you've always wanted to try that you just never got around to? Start thinking outside the box. And then also, I just want to release you. I'm sorry, I'm getting out of breath. I want to release you from feeling um, condemned or like a failure because life didn't turn out the way you wanted it to. First things first, you're not dead. You're still alive. You still have a chance. You're not done yet. You're breathing. So anything can happen. And then just remember that Romans 8.28 says that all things work for the good for those who love God and are called according to his purpose so that's telling me that if I love him and I'm called which we are then everything's going to work out fine even the things that I wish hadn't happened or I wish I hadn't done God will work all that out I always say he's the master recycler <laughs> whatever didn't go right or you did wrong even though it's you know something you'd rather not have on your record he can make it work and he can actually make it for your good so good morning hey Kenya hey Liz Yes, yes, redemption. Yes, we are overcomers by the blood of the Lamb and the power of our testimony. And what testimony would you have if you did everything the way it was supposed to be? Not encouraging you to go off the path, but if we all did what we were supposed to do, graduate 4.0, college, 40, 30 years on a job, I don't even know, um, retire, you know, have your kids around 30-ish, uh, get their trust fund ready, their scholarships and their monies and savings and then buy your house and it's just like yeah that sounds good but that wasn't the path, path for me just saying hey Squida. hey darian hey Teresa. so um hey kenya i just want to encourage y'all today no matter how you start it you can finish strong and that it may not look the way you thought it would look it may not look the way people told you it should look and don't let naysayers tell you that you failed you can you just go to God with everything and just ask him what he sees ask him what he wants you to do ask him for your next steps and he 
he will delight your ways. Hey, hey, Miss Maya, hey, Ginger. So I'm rambling out and I'm running out of breath from walking. But I just want y'all to know that there's a plan for your life. And as surely as you're breathing right now, and surely as I'm breathing really hard from walking, as surely as we're breathing, there's a reason for it. So good morning. So good morning. So y'all have a blessed day. And um, I hope this encourages you and it's encouraged me because that's what God's been kind of speaking to me is that why not do it this way? You never know. Don't give up. Keep going. And y'all have a blessed day. Bye.